Hey there, welcome back to our channel. My name is Bella. I am a long time reader turned writer turned digital marketer and now researcher where I am learning the latest tips and tricks when it comes to writing, marketing and self publishing your book and teaching them to you here on our channel. If you like that, hit subscribe. And today we're going to be talking about book talk, aka TikTok for authors. We're going to dive into why authors are using TikTok in order to grow their platform and actually sell more books. And I've got a number of things for you today, including looking at some exam examples of popular TikToks so you can replicate those and even diving deep into some author earnings. So the results that these authors are seeing from using TikTok to market their book. right into it. What is TikTok in the first place? TikTok is a primarily video sharing app that got started way back when its name was Musical.ly where people would sing or lip sync to different videos. When COVID first hit, TikTok actually saw a really big boom because people were flocking to the app for entertainment to pass the time and also to create really fun and interesting things. The interesting thing is that also during COVID-19 and when that first the pandemic first started, the book boom also took place. So while people were all, had a lot of free time at their home, what they actually ended up doing is writing that book that they've wanted to write for a really long time. Comment down below if that was you, if you actually started writing when the pandemic first started, when you had some time where you were required to stay home and you're like, might as well use it for something good. Now this lines up directly with the boom of TikTok. You can see here by this graph, this is the search results for book talk, the keyword through Google. And you can see right at the start of the pandemic, this is where when that phrase on TikTok started, or on the internet rather, started growing. So you can see the direct impact that COVID had on book talk and therefore book sales in general. So this is really where the book book talk boom started taking place is when the book writing combined with the stay at home um, time required slash TikTok is now getting super popular kind of came together where now authors are using TikTok to sell thousands of dollars worth of their books in a single month. You can even see here that a lot of news publications are learning that book talk is on the rise. It's the book boom, the book talk boom, all of these different phrasing you can see on a lot of these headlines all around the same idea. TikTok is helping authors sell books. Not only authors sell books, it's not just for authors though. TikTok is really seeing a rise in the number of accounts of people who are reviewing books, readers who are helping other readers find authors they love and books that they love. So how this boom started was really some creators taking popular trending videos and kind of making videos that had to do with their books. And not only did they see a lot of views, a lot of virality out of some of these posts, but they actually saw a direct impact on their book sales. And again, we're going to dive deep into that in a little bit. So that's really what TikTok is about and how it got started. So let's go into now who is TikTok best for when it comes to authors? Who should join BookTok? And as an, if you're an author watching this, I'm going to take the angle from authors, but really there's a couple different kinds of book talks that you'll find out there. You'll find authors who are making content about their books and sometimes other books, and you'll find readers making content about the books that they're reading, trending and helping other people find reads. So those are kind of the two sections of book talk that exist. So if you're an author, which I'm assuming you are because you clicked on this video to watch this, what we're going to focus on today is really, what is the best selling genre when it comes to book talk? Um, now there's not so any exact numbers, but what you'll see if you go on book talk and actually just do some research through book talk is that a lot of the trending book talks, the TikToks that people are making are in the romance genre. So I want to preface this right away by saying you can have success in other genres. I have some examples of some fantasy authors. But right now it really seems like TikTok is responding well to romance authors and the kinds of TikToks that they're posting. And I'll show you a couple of examples of those like this, these couple right here.
Not the way that I do love you. So once again, romance books are really doing well when it comes to TikTok and be, being able to promote them that way, but that's not the only ones. Like I mentioned, there are some um, fantasy ones trending as well, and I'll put an example of a couple of those right here. <laughs> looking to use TikTok to promote your books and you write romance or fantasy or I want to try it out at least. Romance does seem to be a genre that is pulling ahead when it comes to the effectiveness of TikTok, but it's not the only one, but keep that in mind. As for nonfiction authors, now TikTok serves a little bit different of a purpose when it comes to promoting nonfiction authors books. So for example, if you're a nonfiction author, you're not necessarily selling your book. What you're selling is your ideas, and those can come in a number of different forms. You can just create a video of you saying something. You can create a video of you actually reading uh, from your book. Those are pretty popular. You can have a video of you on a podcast, uh, just sharing your ideas. You can have some sort of photo montage with you reading a quote from your book. The idea with nonfiction authors on TikTok is that what you really want to do is sell your ideas, not just necessarily your book. Now you can promote your book, obviously, at the end, but they are going to be a little bit different than the way that fiction authors operate. So I've got a video coming out that's really all about TikToks you can follow to get inspiration, and that's going to have a bit more of a breakdown of the different types of TikToks uh, you can create out there, the different authors to follow for examples, and a little bit more detail about this specific portion when it comes to nonfiction authors. I'll have a ton more examples there. I'll link that video when it's available, but for now, here's a couple examples of nonfiction uh, authors on TikTok who are sharing the message about their book by just kind of sharing their message, period. I hope you find the courage to change your life in the small ways, in the big ways, in every way that matters. I hope you do not end this story with a heart full of regrets. I hope you do not spend your years just waiting for your life to begin. I hope you realize that this is not the practice run, this is not the preview, this is it. There is nothing to do but leap. There is nothing to do but allow yourself to exist as boldly and as honestly as you can. You will think you have forever, but you do not. It all happens, and it happens quickly. You are not waiting on another person, or the right timing, or for everything to fall into place. You are waiting to feel ready enough to exist within the questions, to not need every answer, and to know that this life does not come to us to be perfectly understood, but to be fully experienced in every direction we can possibly reach. About the hero's journey, or you think about every Pixar movie, follows the arc of Joseph Campbell's hero's journey, right? Three acts. The first act is we lay out the land. We understand what the rules are of the universe where the movie's taking place. We understand power. We understand where people live and how people live. That's act one. The end of act one always is an inciting event. Something really hard happens. Something bad happens. All of act two and every story since the beginning of time is the protagonist trying to solve a problem without ever being vulnerable sighted homeowner and you decide i'm going to buy a five hundred thousand dollar house i'm going to put ten percent down because some lunatic on tiktok told me i could put three percent down but whatever i put ten percent down because i heard that's good cool what happens well the first year you pay twenty two thousand dollars in interest and only six thousand dollars towards your principal and this goes on and on and on and on for many many years by the end your $500,000 house costs you roughly $800,000 to a million dollars when you factor in all of the different fees. Is that a free savings account like realtors tell you? <sighs> So once again, for nonfiction authors, it's more about your ideas. This is really good for people who are thought leaders in the space, in certain spaces, they're very specialized. You'll find a lot of psychologists and doctors and people with certain credentials speaking from a place of authority. So because you have a book, you can do that as well. 
focused around your topic so that when people are attracted to the videos that you create around those topics, they'll be interested in your book later. Now let's get into kind of the part that I think people care about most, which is why I sneakily put it at the end of this video so you'd have to watch the whole time, are the results that you can actually get from TikTok. So it's kind of remarkable the way that people are able to say, hey, I started posting more on TikTok here, and this is a graph of when I posted, here's a graph of my earnings, and you can actually see them. So some of the examples I'm going to show for you today are from TikTok for Authors, a Facebook group where people are willingly sharing their information. Uh, so you can even go there to verify some of this. But here are some screen shares of the results that different people are getting and what they have to say about using TikTok as an author. All right, so this is where I'm getting the examples or the results from rather. So these are just people on the TikTok for Authors Facebook group posting the things that they're learning along the way. So this is a very recent post by um, Adam Beswick, the AP Beswick author that I've showed you the example of. Um, and let's take a look at what his numbers look like. So this is his profile. Um, if you're able to see all of that here, this is what his profile looks like. Um, the things that he has, take note of that because that's important as well. 50,000 followers. So he's clearly knows what he's doing. He's been around the TikTok block, if you will. <laughs> so these are, so sorry, so sorry. These are some of the results that you will also see. Um, and I'm going to move myself down a little bit just so you can see a little bit more clearly. These are honestly just his book order numbers. This is the back end dashboard on Amazon that you can see these different things. So Kindle edition, normalize, page reads. So this will... So he's getting under 10,000, but you can see here in April of 2022, he kind of hit a spike. And this is true for units ordered. So these are more of the books themselves. So you can see down here, paid ebook, um, free units, paid units. And so this is Kindle Unlimited pay reads, page reads. So if you have an unlimited Kindle account, that's how authors are paid through that service, in case any of you were wondering. And then if we scroll down here, um, a little bit more, or rather if I move this screen for you guys, you can see the royalties earned. Below the video, there's only, or rather only, um, there's $945. This screen is just not allowing me to show you all unless it gets really small. But you can see here that he is making quite a bit, especially in the US. So these tactics are working. This is for the date range of August 1st through the 31st, 2022. So super recent for when this video is going out. Uh, $4,000, $1,800, a few thousand or a few hundred there, and then uh, $945 from Amazon Canada, and then Amazon. On AU 194. So you can guys see he's making really good money, really good money marketing his books on TikTok and how that can impact his journey. Um, so this is just more of what of his books are selling. This way, uh, royalties estimator. So this is something that'll tell you basically how much royalties you're making in this month. This is what they've added that that up to is about seven thousand dollars, which is amazing. It's a full time living off of your books, and so it's great that Adam's been able to create that um, and unit sales. You can see a lot of these results are exactly what we say they are results. Um, really what people are seeing in the real world doing these things. So let's go ahead and take a look once again at a couple more examples. All right, so this is another author who is seeing really great results using TikTok uh, that she shared in this group with us. So uh, Brooke Cumberland, um, hope she's okay with me sharing that. I hope that's her author name so that y'all can check out her books. Basically, she, she went through and wrote a lot about her experience, but I wanna focus a little bit on some of her results here in terms of just actually the numbers and what, what she's able to see. So you can see that this was 2019 pre-TikTok. Um, so this was one, this was for the year, the whole year of 2019 pre-pandemic. You can see kind of the totals of what that's looking like. This is where she is showing you that uh, TikTok breaks out and kind of nearly doubled their income from that time period. Uh, this is super helpful. So Brooke, if you ever see this, you're amazing. Thank you so much for posting uh, this video. Start posting randomly, irregularly on TikTok, posting consistently. Um, and so this is just a note on posting consistency for TikTok as well. I know that if I didn't mention it in this video, I mentioned it in another video of how to actually make TikTok work for you. but. This is what you can really see um, through all of that stuff. And then this year is continuing. So she's continuing to keep those numbers up pretty high. And so she has slowdowns on poke, fo posting to focus. So you can see here that 
when she slowed down posting, it definitely dropped. So this is the direct correlation from TikTok for this author and her book sales. So we go into more, um, or this is back to the 2019. So those are her results and really what she was able to, to create uh, for herself by posting on TikTok. Now let's dive into the next author example. So here's an example of an author who really just, just started. So yesterday morning I had 32 followers, um, modestly viral video, 80,000 views. Okay, modest, sure. Um, it's great, great views is what I'm trying to say. And the sales of the book, which is a year old. So really um, you can see the direct impact here on the views and the sales. So you can see this hockey puck right here where this is really the connection between TikTok and getting people to your Amazon page is like people are really taking action on that. There's a number of places that you can post videos online that don't see this kind of really this correlation or this high of people going off to then go look at what she's got um, going. So she said the video has blown past 100,000 views. Um, and the money is really rolling in. So that's kind of what she says there. Let's take a look at another author. So here's another before and after joining TikTok. I love these videos because we really, again, super clear correlation. Uh, so she says she got lucky in that a video of mine took off pretty early. I love that people claim luck when it's clearly they were intentional about creating a video in order to get views. Um, it's skill, it's not always luck, but good for you. And so she can see that it's still pulling in respectful numbers even when I don't have one of those massive videos. So this is a good example of somebody who was able to create a video that kind of kept going for a little bit longer, more than that 15 minutes of fame that we call on social virality nowadays. What would the equivalent, what would the equivalent to 15 minutes of fame be for like the short part of going viral? How, how would you guys phrase that? Comment down below what your phrasing for that would be. Super curious. Um, let's make up some words. We're writers. And so she's still, she's still learning, but this is a game changer. So this is, you can see immediately, some of these are empty. Some of them are blank where there's not really any book selling here. And then you can see the spike and then a dip and then a climb again. And so this is pretty, pretty close to if she continues to post different videos and grow the video backlog and having multiple videos, getting those types of views. And that's kind of a game changer for her and her book royalties. Let's look at a couple more. So this author posted, let's see what she said, is a young adult fantasy romance. So young adult is great on TikTok because the audience that is interested in TikTok is already Gen Z age, so they're a little bit younger. So she's got a young adult fantasy romance that she released in late May. So this is of 2022. You can see here um, all five books. So five books, May 27th through July 26th. I want you guys to keep in mind that there are multiple books. So this is not just one book and this is a really great number to look at. Like this is a great money that she's making on this book based on using TikTok. Uh, but also I want you guys to understand that it's also because she has five books. So now not only is there an opportunity for new people to buy one book, but that's an opportunity for that that um, person, viewer, reader to then buy four more books. So that's already increasing the amount of money that the average reader is going to spend on her books as an author. That's why we always recommend to our students that you start with a series because that's how it adds up in order if you're looking to make a full-time living writing and you're able to do that. So you can see here the breakdown. Um, all five books, ebooks royalties are 7,000, print is 6,000, which is impressive because I feel like a lot of people do um, Kindle Unlimited or, can, or just ebook copies. So K-E-N-P -E royalties, that would be Kindle Unlimited. So that's really going to be where a lot of the money is coming in, which once again is based on pages read. That's how that works. And so total royalties is $34,000, almost $35,000 from May through July 26th of 2022. So that's incredible. So these, these results are really the results of consistency. So you won't go to any of these people's TikToks and see only a few videos. You'll see a number of videos likely testing and there'll be a few standouts that get the majority of the views, but the other ones still get a boost in the views because they're gaining followers. And that's really what's going to lead to long-term results if you're using TikTok to promote your book. So as you can see, TikTok is really great for authors. Not only are people earning more, but they have a consistent marketing channel for their books that they can rely on that still allows them to be creative. Now I will say that 
if you don't like using TikTok, you're not a, you don't enjoy using the app and you definitely don't enjoy making videos, this might not be a marketing path for you. This might just be the wrong channel because at the end of the day, what you want to market books effectively is consistency. And you're not gonna be consistent with something that you don't like. You're gonna be avoiding it. So keep that in mind when you're looking for different marketing channels and deciding if TikTok is for you because we don't want you to be miserable marketing your books. That's not the goal. So if you love TikTok, if it's fun, if it's something that fits your genre, romance authors, I really recommend that you give it a try. Um, definitely give it a try. And that's really all we have today about TikTok. Now I am going to be creating a couple other videos. If they're available, I will link them here for you. But one of them is going to be a deep dive on uh, really different TikToks that you can follow in order to learn the craft of marketing your book effectively because they're kind of nailing it already and why reinvent the wheel when you know it's working. And then another video I'm going to create is getting started on TikTok and really how you can go from no TikTok account for my author at all to beginning to create videos to market your book. And again, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to learn how to write, market, and publish your books more effectively. We have new videos coming out all the time. And check out the stuff that we've already got there because your questions are probably answered. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about TikTok, we also have a blog post to go with this video. Check it out at the link in the description and I'll see you guys next time.